Hi, my name is Danny. I'm a nuclear medicine um, technology student at Gateway Community College. And right now I'm at Tucson Medical Center. And I'm just going to demonstrate how to use a dose calibrator. Right here is our dose calibrator. And this is a very important piece of equipment that we use every day. And what it does is make sure that when we're measuring doses for patients throughout the day, that we're measuring, we're getting an accurate measurement. So we know that we're giving the right amount of radioactivity to our patients. So we wanna do this quality control daily. And it's very important that we do that so that we can provide good patient care. And so I'm just gonna show you how to do that quality control. Okay, and what is this quality control? This is the constancy quality control. So with the dose calibrator, there's four types of quality control that we do. Um, daily we do the constancy, and then we also do geometry, which is, um, we do that whenever the dose calibrator is installed, moved, or repaired. And then we also do accuracy, which is done annually. And then we also do linearity, which is done quarterly, okay? So today we're doing the constancy. So if you want to look right here, this is what you would pull up, constancy test. And these are the different isotope channels. And so this column right here is the predicted amount of activity. This is the target activity that we want. And over here I'm going to input the actual readings that we get. And right here is the percent of um, deviation. We want it to be in a 10% window, which means plus or minus 5% of our target reading right here, okay? So I'll start doing the constancy over here. And so when we say constancy, we wanna make sure that throughout the day that it's consistent, that we're consistently getting our accurate readings, okay? So if you want to look right here, you're just going to push test, and it'll come up with different tests. And we want to do our daily tests, which is we would push number one. So I'll push one. OK. And we want to make sure there's no sources in there, because we're not ready for the source yet. We're going to get our background and our voltage first. So I'm going to push any key. And just follow the promptings, please wait. Okay, I'm gonna accept that. And that was your voltage? Voltage, yes. And now it's doing background, um, radioactivity background. So just wait for it. S still says please wait. Okay, and I'm gonna accept that. 